You just don't want to look back one day and be like, oh, what if, or I should have done this. There's no one here right now training at the velodrome where Olympic gold medalist Kelsey Mitchell briefly trained before moving to Ontario. But the Tokyo 2021 Olympic champion was driving water truck for Strathcona County just four years ago. Now she's being embraced by the country. Bottom line for me was like, I'm going to go all in on this. I'm going to get everything I have and whether I make the team, whether I make the Olympics, I'll know, I'll look back and know I, I couldn't have done anything else. The Sherwood Park cyclist had always been an athlete, but after her time playing university soccer ended, she was still drawn to athletics despite being uncertain what to do with her life. She began training for cycling, flying to Ontario to do it, where she was noticed by Team Canada. This past Sunday, she rode to gold for the country. Switching that and then from an individual or team sport to individual, like I'm out there alone, 1v1, it's my best day versus their best day and all the hard work we've put in head to head and so it's very stressful. The cycling champ received a hero's welcome as she touched down at Edmonton International Airport Monday evening. Mitchell tells me it was an even longer road to the Olympics than expected, the pandemic postponing them from last summer. It was definitely a roller coaster initially, like Canada was the first country to kind of say we're not sending athletes if this happens and so we were waiting to see what was going to happen, like were we going to watch the Olympics from our couch or and then the, everything got postponed, so that was kind of a relief. But with the Olympics now in the rearview mirror and the long journey back home complete, Mitchell says she's just taking it all in. It hurts the neck because it's so heavy. I have it beside me. I don't know. I'll show you it. But it's uh, it's a it's a heavy piece of metal. Yeah. It's, I don't sleep with it, which most people probably thought I would. But it's uh, it's near me at most times. Yeah. <laughs> While reminding others not to wait for their dreams. Do what makes you happy and. Go all in if you're trying something new. In Edmonton, Darcy Robchan, City News.